All right, guys. So we are live here on a late night Friday here in Japan. Families at grandma's parents' house, and I'm doing a live stream. So just did a quick uh, night walk. I was out on my evening walk here, and I shot a bunch of clips. So we're going to edit them up in Clap Cut if you are new to Clap Cut. And so it will definitely be a great video for you. So enough of the jibber jabber, just going to straight get into it. So um, I've been using Clap Cut to do all my reels and shorts just because it's super easy and it's just, it's super easy. So quickly import, if you click on here, you can click on import and then bring in your files. So I have my files all ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and bring them in. I shot a bunch of photos tonight using my Canon EOS M and uh, the Helios 44.2 russian vintage lens and while i was shooting photos because i've been just into taking photos at the moment i shot a couple of reels kind of just vertical video to kind of throw in there and mix it up and um yeah so again i'm on day 27 or 28 of my 30 consecutive days of making some type of content you know it doesn't matter what it is if it's photos or video just to try to get back in the flow of things and there was a, a couple of us that inside of in my discord who have been kind of we've been doing it together and motivating each other. So I got about three, three more days left to finish this out and um, mission completed because I'm, I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a rhythm now. So I'm constantly just making stuff, taking photos I'm like I'm in that creative mode. So uh, it, it worked out good. So what I'm going to do here, some of these photos, I'm actually going to edit them on my phone phone which i do uh off off the stream but i've been using the filmo app because it's quick and easy and there's a filter in there that i really like the way it makes my photos look if you guys haven't have seen check on my instagram and you'll see some of my recent posts uh and that that look is coming from the filmo app and i just, just drop them in there it's super easy but um i think i can uh cook something up here so i'm gonna go ahead and drag in these couple of clips that i have it wasn't too many clips like i think five of them total Let's load them up here six of them total so and i already have the song that i kind of i want to use and the song that i want to use um i already did kind of like a i went to instagram on the computer did a screen record to get the music and i'm going to go ahead and load that in so let me go ahead and quickly import that and then i'll show you how to uh to rip audio off of the uh if you have like a something hang on let me bring it in here for a minute and here it is instagram reels music basically i follow a couple of instagrammers that i like their style and their mood that they set and i kind of use some of the music whatever their kind of tracks they're using i kind of use that music as my motivation so this is the track that i'm going to be using right here let me go ahead and drag it into the play line we go ahead and just drag it in drop it boom there it is and if i hit play If we hit play, and how come it's not playing? Okay. What's going on here? I'm getting no playback. Well, that's playing back. But the screen capture is not playing back. Why is that not playing back in the timeline? The previews are playing back, but it's not playing back in the timeline. Interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and problem solve this because this is what you may encounter. So here's my clip. There it is. And that's obviously playing back properly the way I want it. But when I you hit the plus sign to bring it in. And then if I hit play. Nothing's happening. Okay, so worst case scenario, let's just close clap cut and bring it in. This is the first time it's ever done this to me. It's never, it's, I'm normally, it's never even crashed on me, unlike some of my other stuff. So let me reload it. And let's just try again. Go to new project. And then let's go ahead and import my clips. That's the one I want. Okay. Let's try it again. Hit the plus sign to bring it to the, and hit play. There it goes, now it works, okay? So, if you ever encounter that problem where it doesn't play, 
close everything up, reboot it again. So, boom, there it is. Now, basically, I want my music to start. I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Now, I'm not going to keep this in the final video because I already know the name of this track. I can just clearly see. And uh, let me show you something here in the workspace. If you drag this down, you can expand your workspace. Same with these here. You can expand and you know contract these here on the side if you have multiple monitors which i do if you come up here to the top to the, this little icon here and you click down on it here it says default layout media first player first it will split it up um and you're not gonna be able to see it but let me just quickly go to media first right so now here it made this full screen and the media import bin is on my second monitor which is just above my head here and it's split it up so it's typically that's how i work when i'm not doing like a live stream so i have more monitor room but in my case i'm going to be doing vertical video so it's not that important but if you go to ratio right here now we can switch our ratio that we want i want vertical video because i'm doing a short so i'm going to go uh, 9 by 16 and then boom there it switches my it up for me here here okay so i'm going to probably keep it like this just for the moment and then I can go ahead and like zoom in. This is the zoom out and zoom in, right? Okay, so we got that. But um, yeah, actually, I'm probably going to turn it back just for normal so you guys can have the same setup as I have. Go back to default layout, and there's the media import uh, right there. So what I want to do is I just want just the music from this clip. This is a quick way that you can just rip the music off. So if you click on the clip here, and then we go over to, I think it's audio. And let's see noise reduction. No, it's not audio. Okay, let's see. I normally use the app, so I, I know where everything's at in the app. So this is new, not new, but it is kind of new for me. But I feel like I rather share the journey of learning CapCut on the computer versus on the uh, the phone because the computer is actually a little bit better because I can add in LUTs, which I could not do on the app. Um, it doesn't allow me to take in LUTs. So there is a way to extract. So let me just go back here. Let's right click on this. Right click. Okay, so there it is. Separate audio. Control shift money. If I, again, like I said, I click on the clip, right mouse clip, and there it is. Separate audio. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Boom, there's the audio. And then the video, I can delete the video. So now we have just the music, which we want. And roughly, I don't even want the whole thing. I think the whole clip is about 15 seconds, but my reel is going to be about, I've been doing reels about eight to 10. That's like the sweet spot for me right about there. And actually I, I want it to start right here. This is the kind of part that I want it to be. I'm going to press control B that puts a cut right in the middle there. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that and then back this up to the beginning. So this is what I'm working with. If I hold down control mouse, a uh, mouse wheel up, I can extend, I can stretch out the timeline here. So I'm going to stretch it out a little bit there. And if you press alt, you can, uh, wrote, you can move it left and right. And obviously it's only this long. So that's how that goes. Oh, it looks like we got some messages in here, guys. Sorry. Uh, my little chat notification is not put. Ali, what is up, Lee? What is up? So hey, buddy, how you doing? Uh, you can save audio on video export as a separate track. Yeah, that's cool. That is true too. Um, but I want to use this as a, so I can use the trending audio from Instagram. So that's the only reason why I'm probably not going to do that. That's yeah, that's a good note. Now I don't know why my little tinger is not working here that I have set up here. So it should sh pop up to let me know when people are chatting and it's not ringing the bell. I don't know. I'll have to worry about that some other time because I haven't been using. Uh, let me make sure this is turned on. Show filters. Okay, so let's just turn that on. Pausing. Yeah, I don't know. My my chat thing is not working properly. Okay, so it's good to have you here, Lee. Good to have you here. We've been in our journey of uh of our of our daily daily vlogging and in daily content creation which has been fun for me i've been having a great time and you've been making some really good stuff man all right so now i gotta re-import my clips go back here to import 
And let me jump back into my reels folder, night walk. Yeah, the photos I'm not going to probably bring in because I want to use my filter. I took some really cool night photos of the Sakura at night. And I do need to bring some of those photos into Lightroom to uh, beef them up a little bit because I did shoot them there raw. So I'm not going to bring those in. All right, so we're quickly here. Let's see what we got. I'm going to go ahead and probably just drag them all in. Just drag them all in and I can just cut them up. And then we need to go ahead and go over to rotate where it rotates right here. I'm going to go ahead and go 90, rotate 90 degrees. I guess we're not. We're going to go minus 90, minus 90. There it is. And then just going to scale them up and it should snap in the spot. Boom, it snaps in, which I also love. Which, <laughs> believe it or not, does not do that in DaVinci Resolve. <laughs> It's just little stuff like that. It just makes this go so much quicker. So I had the, the Helios 44.2 on the Canon EOS M shooting everything at 8 bit, but I did have the Pro Mist filter on. So we got this little bit of a haze going on everywhere around all the lights and stuff. The Pro Mist uh, three quarter black Pro Mist, uh, one quarter, I think. So I'm kind of happy to use that. So let me find a good spot. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just trim down here, just trim that down. And matter of fact, there was a couple of yeah, this guy. This was this was awesome. This was a great moment. A very rare sight in Japan to see an Impala. I think I don't know if it's a 64 or 65, but to see an Impala in Japan is very rare. And he even had hydraulics. So that was a great moment. I was like, oh. And I was like standing there like, yes. And all the Japanese people were like looking at me like, well, why is this guy getting excited? And I'm like, because this is something you really don't see. See, I was trying to get my focus right. So I'm going to probably go right about there. Oh. Nice, nice. And then he goes out of focus, right? Because I was using a full manual lens. It's a full manual lens. Good, making dinner so it might disappear no problem enjoy enjoy your dinner it's late here it's like one in the morning <laughs> it's like one in the morning here i'm going to stretch this up boom this was another great shot just look at all of these bikes they're parked in front of a karaoke building right and to the right here is a karaoke and a, and a bunch of restaurants all in the same area and it was just a great shot just a sea of bike handles and I think I have a moment where a lady kind of walks by. If you hold down alt scroll, the mount wheel. Did she walk by? I guess she didn't walk by. I think if she walked by in the photo, I got her in a photo. So and I just got this moment here. Let me go ahead and trim this control B. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And then I got the soccer dot again. Let's go ahead and stretch that out. Snaps in. There it is. And then I think we even got a little bit of the signature swirly bokeh. If you kind of look here in the background, this kind of swirly happening. It is like the signature of a, it's like you have to be at the right focal length and the right, uh, what is it? You got to be wide open on the lens, on the aperture. And then you'll, and there's a certain sweet spot in the focal length where you'll get this uh, bokeh, the swirly bokeh. I re you, it's really pronounced on the photo. Like you can really see it on the photo really good. I'm going to use this shot here where I have something just peeking in kind of like there in the foreground. I got this stuff happening in the foreground. And then we got the background and we got the mid ground. We got three dimensions happening right there. So there's a lot of depth going on. Look at that. A lot of depth going on in that shot. Go ahead and uh, trim that too. I'm going to go control B, delete that. Same thing here. We got another shock soccer shot there. And that one was okay. I'm kind of liking that one. That was totally isolated. Let's kind of maybe chop that right about there. Delete that. And I think that's it. Alt. No, we got another clip. Huh? Go ahead and delete half of this. Control B. Select. Delete. And I think this was the last shot. Scroll that up. And there was a part where a lady on the bike started coming by. So I was like, yeah, I want to catch that. Just so we got some action, like coming around the corner there. 
Good. Yeah, this is a full manual lens, so no auto image stabilization. So I'll have to, I'm gonna just use uh, a little bit of the stabilization, stabilizing inside of uh here inside of a uh, cap cut. So I love cap cut now for simple and fast edits. Switch from Premiere Pro to Cap Cut. Yeah, like I, I have DaVinci Resolve and like I'm inside of Cap Cut. Like that's my go to just for quick stuff. Like it is, it's just so much easier for me. Really fast to knock out a reel, really quick, painlessly. And the auto caption, like when I'm talking, like it's just, oh, come on, DaVinci. Like how can we do not have auto caption yet? I don't understand that. Okay, this is gonna be real quick here, guys. Here we go. So we're gonna start cutting this. Boom. I'm going to cut right there. Control B. Delete that. I hope I have enough clips. I might not have enough clips. Boom. And this, we're going to actually get right where he kind of just drives off. Like I'm on the rims. I'm going to go here. Control B. Delete. Boom. I'm going to go ahead and cut there. And just trim that right there. Boom, then I'm gonna cut there. And then cut there. Boom, cut there. I think I should have waited till I moved. Hang, did I move? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 we didn't move. Let me go back and undo that. Let me cut the front part off instead. Come back. Boom, there we go. Cut there. Delete. And then I'm gonna wait till I start moving. I don't know, maybe let's see. Did I come back here? No, I didn't. So let's try to get it right about there. Let's see. Control B. Delete that. Boom. Cut right there. Let me back up just a little bit on that beat. Right there. Control B. Delete that. Last clip. Boom. Actually, that was a little late. Boom right there and what is that how long is that that is 13 seconds no eight seconds that is eight seconds nine seconds uh, i normally like around 10 seconds okay so what i'm gonna do here is trim this actually hang on let's go ahead and just trim off let's just go to the end of the music so if you press up arrow, it kind of just goes to the cuts. Same thing with down arrow. I'm going to take this piece right here and control B, trim it. I'm going to drag it to the front like that. So let me see. Undo because I want it to loop. I want it to loop. So we're going to drag, take that off. And what I'm going to do is cut a little bit of this back end of this off, maybe like right on beat. So okay. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe right there. And let's go ahead and control B and let me drag this to the front. Should repeat it here. Okay, good. And then on this front part here, I'm just gonna quickly drop in some tech. Uh, John, what's up, John? I love clap cut now for single fast edits. Oh, I sorry, I already kind of went through that one. Uh, Lee, cap cut just locked some stuff up behind a pay version. Yes, I did notice that. There's a couple of uh, transitions now. They say pro version. You know. Luckily, most of the stuff that is behind the pro version, I don't use. So it, it worked out OK for me. But yes, I did notice that. Uh, John, love the selection of transitions to and some of the text effects to make pro video. I like a lot of the text templates like they're super quick and easy. Um, yeah. And then some of the some of the uh, transition, some of the filters that are really it's just got a lot of stuff that's really cool. And a lot of it is free even though they just started doing the paywall now, but you know, come on, like you can't beat it. It's a great little app here. 
Uh, what I want to do is drop my text in here in the beginning. Uh, go to default text, text, and I'm just going to trim this down to like right about there. And then I'm going to go here, streets of Japan. Actually back up. Streets of Japan. All right. And then I've already imported some fonts into this here. And I have, ooh, actually recently. Oh, yeah, that's recently used. Let me scroll this. If you scroll this little tab here, it closes down. Like, so you got system fonts, preset fonts, recently used. If you scroll that down. So I'm going to go to system fonts because the font. I wish I could just see, I'm used to just tapping H and then it would just jump straight to my font, to the other uh, name, but unfortunately it doesn't do that. So, but I do know the name of this font that I'm using, Hudson or something like that. Where is it? H. There it is, Hudson Bold. Let me go ahead and drop Japan down. And it says Streets O's of of Japan. I'm going to tighten that up I'm with the line here. I'm going to go to where is it at? Spacing line here and kind of just tighten that down a little bit. And then I'm going to change the color of the text. And I'm going to go for more of my orangey kind of thing going here. Oh, and I think I just added a space. No, I didn't. Good. <laughs> And then boom, Streets of Japan, good. Okay, and then what I do is a quick little color grade on it inside of here. Normally I would use a LUT, but my LUTs that I have at the moment are mainly for daytime. Like I don't like the way they look on this at night. So I just do a quick little edit inside of CapCut. Uh, hey, hey, what's up, what's up? I'm gonna do a quick grade on this here and you'll see like the, how I basically do. I go to, where was it? Back here to the beginning. I want adjustments. And man, I don't have any, I don't really have any night LUTs that I kind of use. I should, I, may, I should make a couple in DaVinci Resolve and save out some of these night looks. I'll probably do that within the week here. For now, we're just gonna go to adjustment and I'm gonna go custom adjustment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just scroll this out. And the first thing I kind of like to do is kind of just bring the temperature down more blue. Like I'll go hard all the way and then kind of just back it off. And then what I want to do is I take my highlights and bring my highlights down a little bit. And maybe, maybe just lift up the shadows a little bit, maybe. And then what I like to do, is jump into HSLCs. I like to take the red and shift it more towards orange. I like to take my blues, uh, the blue, shift it more towards teal. And then sometimes I may play with the brightness like here. I'm kind of, eh, I'm not really liking what it's doing right now. Let me find another spot to rest on. Ooh, that, there we go. This is good. This is a good shot to rest on. Let me go ahead and pull this to the extended the full timeline. Let me see what it does to the soccer to flowers. Okay, they're not too bad. They're not too blue. I really like what it's doing to this, to the car here. That looks really nice. Okay, then let me go and shift my oranges a little bit more towards the orange hue there. And just kind of scroll through and see what that's looking like. It looks really nice with the uh, Pro Mist filter on there. They're really giving that dreamy like look. This clip here is a little bit dark, so I'm actually going to click on the individual clip. And I love clap cut. Me too. It's awesome. <laughs> What's up from Brazil? First time seeing your channel. Good tutorial. Thanks. Thanks. Well, we're, we're back in action now. We weren't for a long time after my channel got hacked. And now I'm trying to get back into the mojo of things. I was going live a lot before that, at least once a week. So now I'm just really trying to... Uh, to get back in the swing of things. This clip here, I'm gonna click on this clip and I'm gonna go and jump into adjustments again. Custom adjustment. 
and this clip here adjustment actually no we just click on here for adjustments this is just only on this clip and this clip is just a little bit too dark i'm going to lift up the shadows just a little bit not too much the more you lift up the more noise you can see look at that now you can see all the noise because my iso was about 1300 on my iso because it was really dark but i knew that i was going to keep it dark in the shadow so you won't really see that but i'm just going to bring that up just a little bit just a little bit and then what i even might even do is just take my darkness and just bring that back down just a little bit there just a little bit there uh hello from Ber oh belgium love your channel thank you welcome yeah this is normally i'm not on at this time guy normally i'm fast asleep it's 1 18 in the morning here in japan so it's pretty late uh mountain mountain inspiration hello thumbs up done thank you guys oh yeah thanks for smashing that thumbs up there hello everyone in the chat great 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 it's good to see you guys i know uh, me being in japan my time is off like when everybody's on youtube i'm asleep that's the only thing i hate about living here it's like <laughs> most of my audience is awake when i'm asleep and i'm a, i'm awake when you guys are asleep so it's just a part of the, you know being worldwide <laughs> so i'm really liking this this is pretty much the grade that i like here really cool i'm really like i'm really digging this especially that shot right there that shot is just excellent Okay, so let me go ahead and play this back here from the beginning. And then it should loop again once I do it, once I play it back like in Instagram or something or YouTube, it will, it will loop. That's how we get the seamless loop because we just take, to do that seamless loop is very easy. Your last clip, cut it off and then drag a piece of it to the front and then you'll get the seamless loop it's not going to loop inside of here unfortunately i don't know i can't get it to loop i never really figured out any i've never seen any looping options in here 16 to loop that's a crop let me go to shortcuts let's see shortcuts Timeline shortcuts. Yeah, can we loop in here, guys? Do you know if we can uh, set it to loop? I don't know. Can you split the adjustment layer if you don't want it on certain clips? Yes, you can. So it's very easy. So if I come in here, like say we just don't want it on the Sakura part, so I'll come to the Sakura and basically I'll press L to make sure I'm up to make sure I'm on the uh, exact beginning, press control B and it puts a cut in there. Now, if you don't want to do the shortcut, you basically go to, I don't even know. I, I just use shortcuts all the time. So I don't even really know where you, split right here. You split it right here. You can tab that, but I, I just use shortcuts all the time, guys, like learn the shortcuts. It's as easy, you save time. So like I go right where I want to go, control B, boom, there it is. And then I can come in here and maybe if we, we can just adjust it, like pull it off of there like that and just to make sure it's lined up properly there it snaps so now boom and there's the soccer back to normal and then boom there it is your clip so control undo 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 there it is yeah you can and that's why i like using the adjustment layer just for that reason like if there's something i don't want it or maybe i want to tone actually yeah for example i want to tone down the blue a little bit on this clip so control b and i'm gonna come down to here control b and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna tone, tone the blue down just a little bit. So we come back to our adjustments and basic. And let's just say I pull it off a little bit, right? A little bit of blue off of there. And there that is, right? Let me see what happens if we add pink. Oh, I like the green, check that out. I like that little aqua green. And I'm gonna go minus 10. I'm actually gonna to come to the beginning of this clip too. We're gonna to do that minus 10 a little bit of that cyan i like a little bit of that cyan little blade runner feel there man that car just looks great with the filter on there too right that looks great ah cool i just 
just what I wanted to see. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so last thing here, what I'm going to do is some of these are a little bit shaky. Like, definitely that first opening shot. Some of them, I don't mind the shake because it's like, we're not going for, like, this, the full cinematic, smooth, slow motion, Peter McKinnon style video, right? But there is a little bit of micro jitters because, again, I'm using a, a full manual lens and there is no, uh, no uh, in-body in stabilization. So I'm going to come here. Was it motion tracking? No, 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 no. It was in video. And then if I scroll down here, stabilize, right? Here it is. And make sure your, cl your clip is highlighted. And then I'm just going to hit stabilize. And I'm going to use the recommended level. And at first you think nothing's happening. But technically, if you look right here, it says processing. So it 20, 30, 25 is, is ticking right now. So it's processing this clip. So I normally just use recommended. I don't really use too much. Because even in DaVinci Resolve, I use very little um amount of uh, stabilization unless i'm using a gimbal most of the time I'm, I'm going for that handheld look but there might just be something where it's kind of like too much and then i'll add a little bit of it in there okay and it's at 80 percent, so it's almost done and if anything i think there might be another clip i want to use this first opening clip okay boom video stabilization complete so let me come back Woo! solid as a rock you see that guys look at that it's not even moving now <laughs> and it's really good for stuff like that just for micro jitters and little tiny like a little shaking like that wobbling these are all moving shots so i'm not going to stabilize them right now here again this could have been a static shot this bike so i'm going to do it on this bike one here too just tab on stabilize boom and if you wanted to change the levels so if you click the tab down here it says uh recommended uh minimum app minimum cut and then most stabilized I've always just used recommended. It worked out. It works out good for me. Uh, you're a pro. No, I'm just learning. I'm just learning. Literally just learning and just want to share, you know, what I know with you guys. So we all can be pros together, right? So we can all just get this going. I think the last thing I need to do, what I'm going to do is uh, delete the music. Because again, like I said, when I upload this to Instagram, I already know the song. It's a, it's not really a trending auto audio, but it is an audio that I like and the type of genre. Uh, matter of fact, I should just punch that up and let me show you guys. Let me quickly uh, punch that up. Did I save it? No, I didn't. Okay. See if I can find the, uh, the guy that I, I follow on Instagram. I really like his style. Instagram. Uh, hang on. Let me see. This other clip was finished. And then I need to also do that on the front clip because those are those are the same clips and stabilize and you can see it zoomed in a little bit because that's how it stabilizes. it basically zooms in so it can basically so beware it's going to zoom in when you're doing that how come i don't see the little ticker going now on this one is it already done Hang on. i think i might even use it on this clip here too guys Gonna throw it on that clip too. Okay, and let me quickly load up the whole version of this. Where is this guy at? Yeah, I've started a new Instagram account. Some of you guys may not know because I don't really advertise it too much because I don't really. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't. But it's uh here we go. My new Instagram account that I've been uh getting a lot of fun mojo going on here, just doing off stuff. Cause normally my other channel is all focused on mobile filmmaking and stuff. I'm just getting a little bit bored filming. Actually, my, my camera, my phone camera right now is not working properly. Something's wrong with it. Every time I use like MC Pro or if I was to use Filmic Pro, like it has this weird color, like this weird green color. It's like, it's not even color. It's just this green tone, monochrome tone. Something's not right so with my phone camera. I haven't dropped it or anything. I don't know what's going on with it. The only app that I can use that works are the stock camera app and uh, the motion cam pro app, which does raw. Those are the only two apps that work right now. I don't know what's going on with my phone. So I need to get a new phone. So I haven't been really filming with my phone that much anymore because it just, it's not working right. Something's wrong. So 
that's why I've been focusing on some of this stuff here. So, but I have been taking a lot of photos with my phone. Like a lot of these, these are just, you know, uh, actually this one was taken with my Canon. Uh, I have a couple. This was just with my phone, just with the, with the wide lens on my phone there. I've been having some fun with the wide lens on my phone and uh, just trying to get back into uh, making stuff. A lot of these were, this was all shot with the stock camera app. So in my stock camera app doesn't allow me to go manual mode. It's just full auto, which sucks. I hate it, but you know, it's cool. The only thing cool about it is I have the slow motion. <laughs> I can use slow motion and I do everything in 4k. So this was, uh, this was actually the other, well, we can't watch that one because it's kind of vertical. That one's on YouTube right now. Let me see here. These were all shot on the Canon yesterday out, out in the, I was out in the city for the last two days, just filming and taking photos and just doing what I used to do before my channel was very big <laughs> when I had no subscribers. Uh, great delivery. Great, great results. The LUTs are very handy. My cat, my Canon pro shot has a good video, but the color is a little bit dull. The Brazil show. I've been using Final Cut for years, but recently found CapCut. Can't believe I almost didn't open FCP anymore. Yeah, I, I feel you. I feel you. It's just another tool in your bag. You know, I think about it like that. Like, it's like, I, I love my DaVinci Resolve. I was still always, um, I still always edit in it, edit in it. But for quick stuff like this, I just go to CapCut because it's quick and easy. I can be doing it on my phone. I'm at work in my break times. I'm editing and stuff like that. So it works out nice. So that's it here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete the audio from this because I don't need the audio. And then I'm going to go ahead and export this here. Come up here to the top export. Here's my export settings. You have your title and I'm going to go ahead and title this for me. This is going to be night walk. If I can spell night walk v1 because is this a v1 i can't read it yep there it is let me do underscore v1 version one and then i make sure it's saved in the right folder reels night walk for one yes it is select there Ep 1080 recommended. I leave all that stuff. Codec H264. I leave that at the same thing. MP4. I leave that at the same. Um, I did shoot everything at 30 FPS, so I'm gonna leave it at 30 FPS. I was wondering if I could probably I could probably slow something down to 80 percent, but I'm not. There's no need for that. And again, you could export your audio, but I don't need to. I'm gonna leave it like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit export. And then what I do, sometimes I upload them straight to Instagram from the computer because with the computer, you can actually upload a higher quality version and it won't compress it that much when you upload it from uh, the Instagram website. But I don't, I don't, I'm not signed into that, my, that, my other account. So I'm not going to do that because I don't want to deal with all that sign in and I have double authentication and all that stuff here. So. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But yeah, that's going to probably be it. And let me quickly play it back just to make sure and it's working properly. Let's go ahead and hit window E on my computer. If you press window, if you press the window key and E, you'll pop open your folder. If you guys do a little quick, little quick tip, window E boom, pops over your folder like that. And I'm going to jump into my Reels folder. Boom. And here's some of the photos that I took tonight. I took a whole bunch of photos. I take them in RAW and in JPEG format. So just in case there's one, like, for example, let me show you some of the photos I took tonight. Now, a lot of these, like, see, these are kind of really dark. But it's okay because I have the RAW versions also. And the RAW versions, I can save a lot of data so I can pull these shadows back out. These are the JPEGs we're looking at at the moment. So I'm not too worried about it. And like, literally I took a whole bunch and probably maybe I think two or three of these may actually make it to Instagram. Like a lot of this stuff, 
I was trying to get my camera settings right, trying to find out my my exposure, how long I needed to, uh, how high my ISO should be. So this was actually kind of a weird one. I really kind of enjoyed this one here. And then you guys saw this opening shot, so that was going to be one of the photos there. I was trying to get some silhouettes of people walking by, but I just couldn't get the timing right, and I couldn't get the... It was too dark. So just learning. This is the going out and just learning. That's the whole thing. My whole point of going out there was you're going to take a whole bunch of crappy photos. Like I wasn't expecting to come out here and take some Instagram bangers or nothing like that. I was literally just trying to learn this lens that I'm using and find out what, you know, what's good. And like I already found out tonight that I don't like this focal length with this lens. This was a cool one. I was hoping that I can get somebody to walk by so I can get a silhouette. And it just didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But that's a cool spot. And then here was the Impala, right? The first couple of shots I had, I snapped off. They were too dark. And then I lightened it up a little bit. You know, and then we got this. This is interesting. We got this girl standing on the back of this guy's bike. <laughs> and he's riding the bike next to the Impala. So I might end up posting one of these photos. This one may make it to Instagram because it's kind of odd. It's an odd shot. And this area here, too, might make it to Instagram. I was shooting these reflections off of this glass from the building that's behind me and uh, kind of just waiting to get it framed up and trying to get somebody in there. And again, they're very dark, but I can bring them back inside of Lightroom. This, this is probably, this one might make it to Instagram too here. Like you can see her face because there's also another neon light here and it's shining light on her face. So I'm going to go back and edit the raw version on that one. I'm really, I was really happy with that photo. So I think there's two shots out of the whole night and maybe this one might make it three there was one with the girl but i didn't get it focused the way i wanted to a couple other one cool shots but i don't think i'm gonna use those ones yeah and i got some cool backlighting of these soccer of the light it was coming from the back which i thought was kind of cool i'll have to see what that looks like in lightroom after i uh work on it it might it may be cool and then here we go here's the helios signature swirly bokeh look in this background here look at the swirl this only happens when you're at a certain focal range and a and a certain uh uh aperture and there you can really see the swirly bokeh so one of these photos might actually make it there to uh on to instagram so i think i maybe have four photos out of the whole night <laughs> and then there's a video so Four photos that might actually make it to Instagram. And I took a whole bunch all night. So it doesn't matter, right? <clears throat> hey, what up? What up? Off topic. Uh, would like to speak to you about living in Japan. No problem. Yeah. What do you got? Go ahead. Fire away. I've been here for about since 2013. About 2013, I've been here in Japan. Yeah. Okay, so let me go to my to the the final reel so we can take a look at that before. Oh man, and I think it, there it is, night walk. <laughs> and this is without the music because I'm gonna add the music once I get back inside of. Uh, I just want to check the looping. Go ahead and hit loop. <laughs> Boom, seamless loop, there it is. And looping your reels, you really do like, <laughs> it does It does help, <laughs> trust me. It does help on the average view duration. Sweet, you guys got any questions? We'll go ahead and fire these questions off. I'm getting ready. It's actually coming up on 1.30 in the morning here. I now gotta, I really shouldn't eat. It's kind of too late to eat, but I'm hungry. So, hope you guys enjoy. Uh, hang out for a couple more minutes here. See if you guys got any questions. Let me bring the questions down to here. I'm kind of sad my stream tool is not working properly. That normally lets me uh to see. Oh, check this out. Hang on, we can go to chat, right? There it is. Oh, the chat is working over here. The chat is working, but it's not working in my uh in my little window. Ah, interesting, interesting. I gotta have to figure that 
figure that out. Lee, see you next time. Definitely. A couple more days, Lee. We're gonna we're gonna be at the 30 day mark. I think we'll have to come up with another challenge or something, right? You know? This was a, it was a fun challenge. It was uh really got me back into the mojo of, of making content. And that was the whole point, you know, was just to try to get back into doing I used to do it like when I first started my YouTube channel. I was vlogging like every day <laughs> for like almost, you know, a year or so. Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Let's do it, huh? I know Sakura season's ending here. This is the last week of Sakura. They're already starting to fall off the tree. So now I got to really find something else to keep me motivated because I knew Sakura season was going to be a big one for me. But um, I think I'm going to start spending a a day or a night and go out to uh go out to the city a day after work and uh possibly spend maybe like 50 minutes just my normal walking time just walking around the the city taking some photos <clears throat> especially at night with the anamorphic lens i really got to get another camera another phone camera guys so i can get back to making some mobile content because my i'm so sad about my camera it's just you know what city are you on? I'm in Osaka, Japan. Osaka is the second biggest city here in Japan. About two and a half hour Shikansen ride, bullet train to uh, Tokyo. I'm south of Tokyo. Yeah. It's not bad here. It's pretty chill. Everybody's uh pretty chilled out here. I think like Osaka ranks second or third safest city in the world <laughs> which is weird uh originally from the states yep originally from california los angeles just outside of los angeles about two hours from outside of los angeles i hope to go home this year I to go visit i can't wait i haven't been home since COVID, so for over three years now i haven't been home and really need I need to take a break from Japan. <laughs> I was always looking to my my end of the year break from Japan to get back to America. So <clears throat> really looking forward to it. I'm originally from LA too. Oh, nice. Good. So you're very familiar with the 405 freeway, <laughs> which I don't miss, <laughs> which I used to have to use to go to work. <laughs> yep. No car. I don't miss my car. Well, actually, I do when it's rainy. On rainy days, I miss my car. And on days where I need to buy something that's very big and I can't put it on my bike, those are the days I miss my car. Other than that, I don't miss my car insurance. I don't miss any of that. <laughs> that's awesome. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and jump out of here. It was good seeing you guys. I'm glad we got to chat. I'm going to be... Uh, Unfortunately, I don't really plan these too much. Yep, 405, one, yeah, the 10 freeway, the 101, right? I also had to do the 210 and the 60, right? <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, any quick news or updates at the moment? Um, this channel is not dead for me, but I'm focusing on a new channel, uh, content creators. That's gonna be my my new focus. I still be, I will be posting to this channel still, but um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have another channel which is gonna be posting a lot of stuff that's um <clears throat> more geared towards making content with your phone. If you like, as far as trying to be a content creator, more geared towards that. Not necessarily just mobile filmmaking and photography, but like making doing a podcast with your cell phone whatnot because like i you know i do a podcast here also the on spotify and i just use my phone for the podcast like you know i don't really have a, a big setup i just have a microphone and that's it and uh let me jump to that channel quickly here so um starting a new youtube adventure guys and there it is mobile content creators so and then i'm going to be also posting some of my older videos on my old from from my old channel that never really got any love because i just the algorithm 
for my older channel just doesn't know what to do with my channel it doesn't know who's my audience it's like because i'm all i'm all over the place so a lot of those videos don't get love so I will, I will be retaking those videos down and reposting them here just to try to uh give some of those videos some love that they didn't get from the algorithm so <clears throat> so mobile content creators empowering creators of all levels to produce high quality videos with your mobile device so th that is this is my next this is the future the next five years i'm going to be putting time in on this channel heavily and just basically how i was able to build my channel to 140k subs with a mobile device everything i've learned everything i'm still learning i'm just going to be putting it more towards into this channel here and I'm still going to be posting on my other channel, but you know, this will be my, my new focus guys here. So alrighty guys, Patrick LeVar, keep filming. It's the only way you'll get better. I will be doing some more. Let me know down in the comments. If you guys want more of the, uh, content using, uh, blah, 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 cap cut and stuff like that. Cause I'll, I'll love to start cr cranking out some more videos. So catch you guys in the next one. Keep filming. Good night. Good afternoon. Good morning. Wherever you guys are at peace. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.